We've got the Alpine. We kind of knew already how it would, the, the base of it, how it would look getting the black version earlier this year, which I thought was really sharp. You know, they like a black testing livery, Renault, but we finally got the real thing. And for me, it's these. I, like, I really like it. I really like what they've done. I really like the blue. I like the satin blue. It's kind of half, kind of matte. Half. I think that's going to really look really, really good under the lights of Bahrain. I like the red parts. I think that's kind of just right. I like the front wing, nice and simple, all black. I like it a lot. I've got a shout out Sean Ball. He's the man behind this livery. Of course, again, there's there's a team around him. It's not just him, but he is, is the livery king. If you don't follow Sean, this is your chance to click the link in the top line description below and give him a follow because incredibly talented man, responsible for this. But I, I do promise, because I've chatted to Sean many a time, very nice bloke. Um, I'm not swayed by my personal you know, the fact that I've talked to him before, genuinely, I would have called this out if I didn't like it, but I do really like it. For me, right now, it's up there with the Alfa Romeo. Not really sure which one I prefer, but they're both quality. But of course, I'm gonna do my best to try and improve what I see. And again, with this one, same with the Alfa Romeo, it's, I don't think I've necessarily improved it. I've just gone with a different direction here, um, changed up a few things in a different way. Do I prefer it? Maybe. It's not what I think though. It's what you think. Also, if anyone from Alpine is watching, I am truly sorry for what happened during the live stream. Obviously, I know it was it was glitchy and it was like the lag was terrible, um, but also you lot destroyed the chat. Oh my God, no. What are you doing in the Alpine chat? Oh my God. <laughs> they disabled the chat. No. <laughs> oh my God. No. What have you done? <laughs> what have you done? They're gonna send Fernando to my house to assassinate me. <laughs> Which is stupid. I, I don't know why I said, I just jokingly said, oh, we spam the chat Tomo. And, and people did it and then they had to, it was very, I was so embarrassed. I got to be, it was so cringe. So thanks everyone. <laughs> yes, it was funny, but I'm not doing another livery live stream. Not, not after that, not again. But anyway, let's jump into a set of Corsa Again, Photoshop Racing Studio, that's how I make these. Let's have a look at the base. Now, we're starting with the blue, obviously, um, and I've gone with black as well. You can see that, and you can see kind of a little bit of a hint here where you can see what's glossy and what isn't. Um, so the blue is nice and glossy, and the black is nice and matte. Again, I love that contrast on an F1 car. I know some people are very like anti-matte or pro-gloss or whatever, but I think it just depends on the car. It depends on the livery. Either can pop and I think with this having that contrast it really accentuates the blue I think really nicely blacked out rear wing mainly you'll see a bit more shortly and a bit of black detail in here around the uh, front and then again the, the front wing isn't full black but we've got a bit more color going on there so let's add a bit more bit more color sacra blur liking that and then the a the alpine I've moved forward from the back I think it works really well at the back I just think at the front it also kind of works. I think the balance works still quite well. And then I've also removed the, uh, the the streaks that go through it. I don't dislike the streaks. I just think it also looks really nice without them. Also, quick one, almost forgot. I'm making the base on this A um, matte as well. Again, you've got the nice contrast between the glossy blue and then the matte red kind of cutting through it. I really like that. That's our base. Now let's see it with some logos. So that's without and that is with. So let's start at the front of the car. Front wing, I love the little red flag that they've put on the nose, so I'm keeping that. Renault E-Tech down here. Um, again, the French flag on the, on the wing. I think that's nice, I think that works. These brands on the nose are pretty much the same. Castrol Edge is here though. Um, and then we come around to the side, and again, it's not, fu fundamentally it's the same, it's just I've kind of moved all the logos to compensate for the different um, kind of hero positioning. Um, but again, I've taken Castrol Edge off and I've put that elsewhere because I think the Castrol Edge is the one thing I don't really like on the side of the car. Also, where Castrol is on the car, I've whited it out rather than being in full colour because again, I just think it fits the car better. Little logos down here, BP Ultimate's in the same place. Genie, I've moved from back here to up here, a bit more prominent. Renault E-Tech, I've gone with the horizontal lockup rather than the vertical one they've actually got on the car. I've dropped the red from this part. I just feel like with this design, because I've got red on the front wing and I've got a bit of red back here as well, I think that works nicely. Um, but anyway, let's come around. So 
Again, the rear wing is all black apart from the Alpine here. But I'm really happy with how this has come out actually because you look, you've got a little subtle French flag here. And then if you come around to the back, Alpine again. And again, you can see, uh, it's a bit dark, but you can see the, the French flag com comes through to the back as well. I think that's a really nice way of implementing that um, color without being too kind of in your face. And yeah, again, everything that's black is matte. And I really like that kind of contrast there. I think that works a treat. And again, with the nose, because of the limitations of this model, it's just one physical model. So I've kind of tapered this nose in uh, with black to make it look narrower because I really like the narrow noses on the current car. Unfortunately, this model, we're stuck with the fat, chunky Ferrari nose. But yeah, there we have it. That's my take on the 2021 Alpine. Again, comparison pictures are on screen now compared with mine to the real thing. I think the real thing is beautiful. Shortly before I recorded this, I saw on Twitter the first images of the actual car in real life on track. It looks fire. Again, I'm super excited to see how that satin finish works in like Bahrain or Singapore under the lights. You know, I think that's going to look quality. Aston Martin next. I'm actually recording this at two o'clock on the, what day is it today? On the Wednesday. Uh, so I will be seeing it in an hour. We've already kind of seen leaked images and I'm not massively surprised by what I see. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see. I, I think they've, they've played it pretty safe with the Aston. But again, we'll save that for the next episode. If you do like these videos, please don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. You might be getting recommended these, but not actually be subscribed to the channel. So I would appreciate that. My name's Tomo. Thanks again. Have a good one. Ta-da.